That's what I was gonna do. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. Okay, welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we're talking about what I foreshadowed a while ago. Check it out. And this one is gonna be about Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. And um, it appears as though Shannon Sharp is done. All right, with Skip Bayless. And, uh, Skip Bayless put out that you know today they would put up a you know a united front. All right, and um, and you, you know, know apologize to the world. That I apologize for what we're going to set out to do here. To the last thing we want to do is offend anyone by trying to do what we always do as we share our experience of last night. Okay, so, so I said it months ago. Now it's come to fruition. Shannon Sharp is finally, finally done with Skip Bayless. All right. Uh, and I'm here according to Yahoo Sports. All right. The pro football Hall of Famer turned talking head Shannon Sharp has reached a contract buyout agreement with Fox Sports to end his seven year run alongside Skip Bayless on Fox Sports. Skip and Shannon Undisputed. According to the New York Post, Ryan Glassby Spiegel, Shannon Sharp's final show is reportedly expected to be after the NBA Finals when they end in June. He will also reportedly be taking his Club Shay Shay podcast with him from Fox Sports. The development ends what has been a successful partnership for Fox Sports since it poached Bayless from ESPN's first take in 2016 and paired him with Sharp, previously an NFL commentator for CBS. After years of Bayless verbally sparring with Stephen A. Smith on the highly successful ESPN 2 show, Sharp provided a different voice to counter Bayless in Fox's own morning debate show. That partnership saw its heights and its lows, though. As the Post noted, there was a very uh, public friction between Sharp and Bayless in the fallout of the Damar Hamlin incident, in which the Buffalo Bills safety went into cardiac arrest during a game in January, and had to be defibrillated on the field, then taken to the hospital. Like many others, Sharp was disturbed by the sight of a young man nearly dying on the field. He was also apparently incensed by a widely criticized tweet from Bayless, asking if the NFL could really postpone the rest of the Monday night game, given its timing and stakes in the playoff race. Um, you can check this video out. No doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of this game, but how? This late in the season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. Sharp missed the following day's undisputed episode, then complained about Bayless's tweet and bickered with the co-host after he interjected. Um, Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down, but I didn't want it. Well, yeah. time out, time out. I'm not going to take it down okay. because I stand by okay. what I tweeted. Skip, let me okay. finish. Let me. All right, okay. Go ahead. No, you go. Go ahead, let's go, Jen. Less than half a year later, it appears that Sharp is on his way out at Fox. While Bayless remains on the four-year, $32 million contract he signed in March 2021. It's unclear where Sharp goes from here. Sharp's time with Fox has seen him make headlines beyond the Hamlin incident, such as an ugly run-in with the father of John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies, and a defamation lawsuit from Brett Favre over his reaction to allegations of misuse of welfare funds. Okay, so uh, I can say I told you so. I knew that Shannon Sharp was um, on his way out. All right, it seemed like he just didn't want to telegraph it. He didn't want it to be, you know, like a reaction, all right, um, to, to Skip Bayless action. He didn't want it to be immediate, all right. So he um, he knew he was on his way out and just stalled a little bit more for a few more months, all right, and then negotiated this buyout, all right. But, uh, but he was gone in his head a long time ago, all right. Not that it reflected in his work because he was still top of the line. All right, and he was—he still, uh, you know, came in, and uh, he did his best, and you know, and you couldn't tell that, that like he, uh, you know, he bailed on the show, all right. 
which was good because um, for his next um, venture, all right, he's he's still seen as maybe the top uh, commentator out there, all right, definitely better than Skip, and at this point probably better than Shannon uh, and Stephen A. Smith also. Okay, um, so where does he go from here? Boy, who knows? All right, I do know that um, he still has Club Shay Shay. All right, and I checked how much he makes from that. He makes almost uh, seven, what was it, seven hundred and eighty something thousand dollars every year from that. But you know, uh, he had like a five five million dollar a year contract with Fox here, so that's kind of not saying it's chump change, but you know, to go from making like six million a year in total down to under one million, okay, um, is a big deal. All right, so he definitely has to have something else in the works. All right, um, some kind of work for him that's um, that's at this level of pay. All right, um, does he go to ESPN? I don't know if he goes to ESPN because he might just be a number over there. All right, or does he start his own his own um, YouTube show? All right, I think at this point he has like an, enough following. All right, that if he wanted to start a morning show on, on uh, another channel, it would work. I don't know about a morning show on YouTube, but uh, a show, you know, within a day, maybe uh, once or twice a week or so, like Pat McAfee did, I think that would work. That would work for him. And he can get a sponsor deal, you know, with one of the betting sites or something like that, in the same way as Stephen A. Smith is doing and Pat McCaffrey had done also. Okay, but... um. But, you know, people are going to miss him, especially myself, all right, and uh, many others, you know, who wake up in the morning after a game and want to get, you know, a take from, from uh, Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless, you know, which uh, was obviously most of the time are um, contrasting takes, all right? Now, we can always watch ESPN, but it's just, it's different, okay? There's more um, entertainment value. In Undisputed than there is in First Take and the other shows that come on. Okay, um, so that, I don't know if that can really be recreated. All right, Skip Bayless, he um, he was able to recreate the chemistry that he had with um, Stephen A. Smith because he found Shannon Sharp. But who is the other Shannon Sharp that's out there now? I don't think there is one. Okay, um, so it's going to be hard for Skip, all right, to, to replace Shannon, and um, hard for Sh hard for Shannon to find another morning show at that time, you know, that we're used to seeing him. So it might just be the end of an era, okay, in the same way how you had John Madden and Pat Summerall, all right, and when they left, they tried to recreate them, but it just can't be recreated ever. Okay, so uh, so so I don't know how that's gonna work out. Okay, but I but I do know that we're definitely gonna see Shannon, you know, in another form or another. Okay, um, just not the same form. And um, I don't know if we're if we're gonna see Skip. Who knows? Okay, because I because that show is difficult to fill Stephen A. Smith Smith's shoes, and it's difficult to fill Shannon's shoes. All right, so I don't know how that's gonna turn out. So, uh, so that's about it. Um, Shannon, he's gone. All right. Um, they say after the NBA Finals, that's going to be his last show. So that means he has about two more weeks or less. Okay. So, um, so after two weeks, he's gone, and we got to find something else to watch. All right. So until next time.